Can we build a kitchen for these folks? Yes. And can you tell us a little bit about what what we did? And I mean, it's beautiful. We removed the existing countertops that were here. They were an old uh, landlord countertop. Right. We removed all the trim and then went back with this nice glass subway tile, uh, brand new subway tile throughout the backsplash and at this area as well. Uh, brand new wiring for this okay. position, so we had some under light, under counter, under right. counter lighting. Okay. Counter lighting. Now, what does this do? You just move something up and down. What is this? Uh, is a dimmer switch for this existing oh, look. here. Okay. So, so you install a dimmer switch and it, it helps the light uh, go in the uh, uh, you know bright mode for some yep. things and, and, and normally there's this new lighting finally they've you've gotten a way to where you can actually use dimmer switches with good lighting instead of the old-fashioned fluorescent okay and then uh, countertops were an outside contract obviously these were put into place good uh, yeah we did all the trim the walls originally from right this side of the room over was wallpaper from end to end oh my god removed all the wallpaper skim coat the walls and underneath the cabinets above the cabinets remove the wallpaper uh -huh. uh, cut in around all the crown right and uh re skim coat all the walls and repainted all trim and ceiling and walls okay new lighting everywhere you install you install this lighting all the new can lightings wow. were all added these this was added additional on the same switch we dropped these two new four inches in mm -hmm. there was originally an old pendant here Switch it out to two new four inch uh, cans. Yeah, but I mean, this has got to be a what, 10 foot ceiling? Yes, 10 foot ceiling. And uh, the room is uh, what, 60, 80 feet long? Yeah, close to it. And um, we've got a width of probably uh, what, 18, 18 feet? 18, 20. Yeah. Probably more than about 45 foot. It's, it's about actually 50, so 53 of length. And then here we had an old set of doors where all the seals were broken in it. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, the original doors. The third, these are fixed 32 inch slabs, so when we pulled these out, our space was not available anymore for this, this new door. So what we had to do, we had to buy a smaller door that was three inches smaller than the area. So mm -hmm. we ended up taking the siding off outside, taking this off and adding more structure to underneath the header because we couldn't go larger because mm -hmm. we could extend our header. So right. we went smaller sure. and redid their transition here, put new trim in, brought mm -hmm. in the drywall, finished the drywall in for a smaller closed mm -hmm door mm -hmm. and uh, redid the side of the exterior and repainted it all. Well it looks great and um, I have actually talked to Stephen and uh, and it, he is singing your praises yet again. Um, this is an amazing kitchen and the detail in it. Uh, the subway tile, let's take a look at that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a new, everybody's going with the subway tile or... Yeah, but, yeah. but the detail the here glass. to get this, this little piece to start it and then maintaining the same row. Yeah, and it's all 1 16th inch gapping, so the variation of the glass is tough. So we ended up going with what they call a, a zip schluter is what it is, and we, it's usually used for transitioning flooring, yeah. but we turned it around and used it for, so it's finished right, okay. edge, so you don't see an exposed piece of glass in the end. Yeah. Because there was no border tile available for this tile, so okay. we had to create our own border. So you, uh, actively problem solving throughout the project, um, managing the application of one of the most beautiful countertops I've ever seen. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I've been in a lot of kitchens, but I don't know that I can ever say that I've been in a more functional, spacious, and beautifully done kitchen with all of the choices of colors, which is honestly, it's, it's the, um, the customer that does that. But, um, you know, you guys are, uh, you, you're, 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 you're killing it here. Um, you know, I'm looking as a craftsman with almost 20 years experience and a trained eye for something that uh, I, I can, can moan and groan about, but I, I'm, I'm not finding it, you know? And, and, and you know, I love to bitch, you know? And, and you guys are just, you're amazing. Um, you know, look at this. Everything's lean, straight, interface points, um, you know, but uh, anyway. Thank you so much for uh, making this look good again and again and again out here in the wide, wide world of sports.